What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing... Kurt wants us to draw all the cards. Um, there's also a couple five-color super friends. I'm going to do a five-color super friends. We'll do this JoJo MKE, because she was here first. What up, Dan's? Add com. Stoop. And... I wanted to take DAC, so that works out for us. We also have Fractured Identity in here and Sneak Attack, which are quite strong. Stipulation, want some Friday fun. Five color Super Friends draft. Try to get at least one walker in every color. All the normal exceptions. And uh, this was back when the last Vintage Cube was up, but it was up for so, such a short period that we didn't have time to do all the stips. Might as well take Mind Twist. If we're playing five colors, like I don't want, I don't want to jump into double colored cards. We can also take Metamorph as well, which is very strong. And if we're going five colors, I'm not a huge Ancient Tomb fan. I think Mind Twist is a little stronger than Metamorph. Plus, I have to presume that we're going to get a good amount of Signets, obviously, because we can take them all. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Well, Elspeth, Elspeth is not the best Planeswalker, and I think we definitely want the fixing. Uh, I, I think the premium lands, when we're when we're trying to do this, are the shock lands, the dual lands, and fetch lands because they can all they all kind of work together. So I'm going to take Overgrown Tomb. Someone who has a sneak attack is now getting an Emrakul, and they're going to get to live that dream. It's not me, but someone. I think Oracle's probably better than Dark Slick Shores here. Again, it's a single-colored card, and it helps smooth our mana in the sense that we get access to extra lands off the top of our library. Yogwill is a walker. I don't know if that's true. Okay, so no walkers here. It might be Council's Judgment. I do like a Council's Judgment enough to to take the double white card. I don't think anything else is that good. Yeah, I'll take a judgment. It's just a solid all-around answer, so. Oh, three deck incoming. Negativity. Get your negativity out of here. For shame, Thymos. For shame. Um, Sacred Foundry, probably pretty decent. Chrome Mox, I'm not a huge fan of. <laughs> How tempting is Omneth? I might come back. I'm going to take the Sacred Foundry. Oh, I'm also going to make a list, because usually that's kind of helpful. Of, like, what lands we have so far. Um, so white, blue, black, uh, red... And we're definitely taking Arid Mesa here. And green. Okay, so white, we're going to have two. Blue, we have none yet. Black, we have one. Red, we have two. Green, we have one. So that's pretty nice. Oh, oh. I like a Duretti better than a Gideon Jura for sure. Yeah, we're taking Duretti here. That's a solid gentleman, if I ever saw one. I think Ulamog's probably... I mean, Ulamog can be decent if we find it like, through the breach. Nissa came back? Okay. Also, Pernicious Deed is fantastic because it doesn't kill our Planeswalkers. Let's take... I'm going to take Pernicious Deed. 
Elspeth came back. Um, hmm. Biogenic Ooze is a guy. Sure. I'm kind of glad the Elspeth and the Pernicious Deed seems great if we're just going for Planeswalkers. Like. Only have one blue card so far. Let's take Fire Blast. I think Scavenging Ooze is fine. It's a perfectly serviceable guy. Alright, no power, no planeswalkers, but a bribery, which is close to power. Yeah, we'll take bribery here. Okay, well, that's the planeswalker we're looking for here. So we just took two double blue cards, so that's pretty cool. I don't think we're taking a Tezzeret or a Garrick. I think we're just taking the Stirring Wildwood here because it's a land. So a three white, two green. Definitely looking for some some blue black lands. We could also easily not play Biogenic Ooze, but I think for a creature it's actually just fine. So I really like Gilded Lotus, but I think Simic Signet's probably gonna be better here. Um being able to tap for both blue and green is nice. It could be Noble Hierarch, but we have so few creatures that I really... I think taking an artifact here is a little better. Godless Shrine and a Golgari Signet. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I think it's... We can get Godless Shrine with Stirring Wildwood. I think it's actually... Or, uh, Arid Mesa, rather. I think it's, I think it's definitely Godless Shrine here. And a Verdant Catacomb. All right, hold on. So Gala Shrine is four white and one black. Verdant Catacomb is a green, a white, and a black so far. Okay. So we're definitely got Abzan lands on lockdown. Green, black, white. Okay. I mean, Niv Mizzet is, is on brand for this deck, right? So I think we're taking Niv Mizzet. Leovold is like a planeswalker, but I need lands. God, Rager, we still have a single blue land, which is pretty hilarious. When our first two picks in this pack were Bribery and Jace the Mind Sculptor. Yeah, take a Raging Green. Okay, now we're just taking Botanical Sanctum. Uh, Raging Green puts us to three green, or four green and three red. And now we got one and five. I don't think we're a Marari's weak deck. I might just want you have my Elder. We already have Verdant and Overgrown. I don't think I'm super. Oh, Gary coming back is pretty sweet. It's like we missed nothing. I want to take Rex Sage here. As you know, I'm a huge Rex Sage fan. Yeah, let's take a Tasker for the board. Ophield Mancer actually holds down the fort pretty well. Okay, we definitely we're looking at. Looks like we want blue black lands still. We don't really need that much red. We already have three red sources, and we only have. Actually, what do we got? did I count the signet as green? One, two, three, four, five. Six. No. It's a six and two. 
<laughs> as much as I'd love a Savannah, we're going to take an Ancestor Recall. Not many one drops. What does that mean? I don't think we're playing many one drops. I think people underrate Gyre Relentless too. I think it kills a lot of useful creatures. And we get past a time twister. That is fascinating. So we can get a Badlands. With Ar both Arid Mesa and Verdant Catacombs, which is pretty sweet. So Badlands is actually... Yeah, we're going to go four and four. We're taking the Badlands for sure. Scalding Tarn? Oh, I love a Scalding Tarn here. Oof, and I bet one of these three ladies comes back. Chandra, Frailies, or Nahiri. Or do we want Hollowed Fountain? Hollowed Fountain might actually be better, because we can get it with Arid Mesa, so it gives us two blue sources. Scalding Tarn only gives us one blue source. I think it's actually Hollowed Fountain. It turns on our, our Arid Mesa. <laughs> Dan's with the 10 just for fun bits. I appreciate you, Dan's. Yeah, I'm going to take Hollowed Fountain. Seems weird, but... Oh, Volcanic Island. Okay, Hollowed Fountain puts us up to 3 blue, 6 white. Volcanic Island puts us up to 4 blue, and 5 red. Yeah, we're taking Volk. Our mana base is coming together for sure here. This is nice. Um, I kind of just like Mere Battlesphere here. I mean, I don't think we're passing a ton of one or two plays either, though. So I, maybe it's Lotus Cobra then. I mean, I think that's that's fair. Lotus Cobra is like fixing. Hmm. No Planeswalker. Just take Avacyn's Pilgrim then. Maybe. I mean, the problem is we don't have a ton of interaction right now. I mean, we have stuff that, that interacts on the board. Council of Judgment, Rex Sage, Dak Fade, and Doretti, Pernicious Deed, but Field of Ruin is fixing. I mean, where's the lie? The, the problem is I look at this guy and I'm like, what can you cast? It's hard to cast a Dak Faden or a Duretti off of it. I'm going to take the the Questing Beast. Oh, Mox Diamond is phenomenal for us right now. Renin 6 is also decent, but we only have two fetch lands right now. Wow, I'm only getting one of these, so. That's rough. Oh, man, how good is Renin 6 for us? Pretty good. Still got six basics too. Oof. I'm gonna go with red and six. It's a planeswalker. It's a planeswalker stip. Oh, now we get a gruel signet or a Selesnia signet. I think Selesnia because our double white and double green are more prevalent than red cards. Wow, that's really that's a actually, but gruel signet single-handedly cast to Renin 6. But, like, we have double green, double white, double white, double green, double green, and we don't have any double red cards. So I think just having access to a second white and a second... I feel like this is correct. Savannah came back? Oh, boy. I kind of like Vindicate, too. Seven white sources, seven green sources. Might just go up to... I mean, the thing is, both Arid Mesa and Verdant Catacombs get a Savannah, which is very, very good. So we're going to go eight. And eight. That is a lot. Might as well take Euro, I guess. Yep, Frailies came back, just as we presumed. Taiga? Sure. 
Hydroid Crassus. Kitchen Finks came back. Primal Command, sure. Actually, this seems pretty good. So we got Tyg at the end, which makes Arid Mesa, it makes, it's a red source and a green source naturally. It also makes Arid Mesa a green source. And it makes Verdant Catacomb a red source. Well, that's pretty good. Is Niv Visit good enough? We have Hydroid Crassus, Euro. We have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six cards in our deck that could potentially hit. I don't know if that's enough. Our mana base is looking spicy. Black and blue are our lowest represented colors. Let's make sure we got the count correct. Source by converted. All right, so for white sources, we have Arid Mesa. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with Signet. Blue, we have Arid Mesa. That's one, two, three. Four with Signet. One, two, wait, no. Arid Mesa, Botanical Sanctum, Hollow Fountain, Volcanic Island. One, two, three, four. That's five with Signet. Okay. Must have missed one. Oh, Kurt with the 500 bits. Oh, little tender biddles. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, for black, we have Arid Mesa. One, two, three, four, five. Missed one for that. Red, we have a million. One, two, three, four, five, six. Burn Catacomb, seven. Yep. Green, we have a pretty insane ten. We have, obviously, Iron Mesa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. All right. So I'm pretty sure we want two islands, which will put us up to seven blue sources. And like one black source. Maybe not. Black has no double black cards. But still. Oh, we also, we, we had four lands and we need one cut. Interesting. Okay. Could also play scavenging use early. Like in the in the deck, it just, just kind of wins out of nowhere sometimes if they're playing Storm and they want a Yawgmoth's Will or like <sighs> maybe we board into Pernicious Deed but then that makes Niv-Mizzet worse so then I, I still think we, maybe we just take out Niv-Mizzet how many Planeswalkers do we have here one two three four Four, five, six. I mean, seven's a good amount, I think. I mean, we could play... Yeah, so then we have to cut two cards, though. So that makes it even harder, you know? Yeah, I haven't even picked the right. God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, you have my Elder. I don't love it, but being able to get two lands is pretty decent but maybe that's not good enough because like we're, we only have four basics in the deck so and I could see cutting one other card to just play the extra kitchen finks and keep Niv Mizzet here and because these are the cards we can get off Niv Mizzet there are eight of them well seven of them I guess because Niv Mizzet doesn't count himself which is not bad. Um, and we're definitely adding two islands. One, two, that's for sure. So now our island, our blue count goes up to seven. What was our highest represented color? I think it was green with like 14 or 15 or something. Blue is second highest. So that's kind of funny. Um... I think it's just one swamp, one forest, maybe. Uh, 
Oh man, you guys are 41ing it. Okay. All right, we'll 41 it. All right. Super friends it up. Black we have. Do we add a swamp? Yes, we did. So we go up to six black and 11 green. So right now we have eight white sources, seven blue sources, six black sources, seven red sources, and 11 green sources, which seems good. Seems like a solid distribution. Arctic Avenger, what up, my dude? All right. We will play first. This is a turn three deck. This is all the colors of the wind. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue horn moon? My wife got the Moderna vaccine today. She was so happy. That's fucking amazing, dude. That's awesome. I assume she's a frontline worker. I want to Dak Faden and steal that Mox Diamond. The sun rises around 10 and sets around 2.30. That is a short day. I mean, we just passed the winter solstice like so, like less than a week ago, I think. So, I mean, rightfully so. Shops should be closed. People don't need to be getting haircuts right now. Like it's literally at its peak in the U.S. So, you know, maybe just don't get your haircut because it's not a huge deal. Nurse, nice, nice. Uh, I mean, we lose Dak, but we still a Mox Diamond. That seems like a fair trade, I guess. Some of us don't have hair. <laughs> wild. Just wild. So next time we can go Oracle, two lands, nothing else. Okay. I want to see if we can Oracle into Euro. Can we Euro play an extra land? play a regular land now we're one shy both ways did i say we're one shy both ways or we're both shy one ways i don't know what either of those means so just ignore me don't kill my deck just go for the face because you oh, dang it they didn't listen Okay, so Signet is pretty cool. One, two. Oh, indeed. Indeed. Do I even want to play some Signet here, actually? I kind of want to draw the Deed. But then I want to kill this if we... We can do this and play it for three. We lose Mox, and they lose all three of these. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do that. Let's try to do that. <sighs> well, jokes on you. If I actually blinked your the mox with the Orion, it would actually go to the back to the opponent, so
Indestructible, got it. Uh, no blocks. Okay. They just didn't play anything, eh? Okay. Well, we got an Elspeth on top. Black, green, deed. Ooh, deed resolves. Fascinating. I mean, they have two cards. I feel like we're just deeding for three here. One, two, three. Oh, it doesn't kill the freaking Gideon. Why did I think it killed Gideon? Eh, it's like a sort of giver and resolve signet, I guess. I guess we could have done it for two, but that doesn't really change much here. We want a second blue, can't get one this way. We do have signet though. Um, black, black, red, 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 green, green. Let's get a green, white, let's get a savannah. So you should have played Signet first. Cycle miscalc, sure. I mean, Ophiomancer gives us a good amount of creatures to... to block Gideon with. So we can actually go Euro Ophiomancer. And if there's a land somewhere, we can Signet it? Sure. Watch us lose to this one Gideon. Is that Elspeth again? Dang it, Elspeth. Hmm. So there has to be a land on top. If we want to play the... I guess we can actually play Euro first and find out. There is not... Yikes. Okay, well, we tried. Well, now they have Celestial Colonnade online as well, <clears throat> which is the enemy of Planeswalkers, as you may know. For some reason, I totally forgot D doesn't remove Planeswalkers, even though it was, the main, it was one of the main strategies that we, we wanted to implore when we took it. Thank you! Super Fritz with a gifted sub to Schmitty McDongerson. Longtime fan of the stream, Schmitty McDongerson. Glad he could finally get the gifted sub he deserves after what happened to his home. Okay, they're not attacking with Colonnade here. They're just playing Walking for three, which kills Oracle Snake. <laughs> this is cute. Yep. So long, Oracle. <clears throat> so I think we're just playing Simic Make a Guy. Jace is nice. One, two, Simic Signet. We could also jump this and attack Gideon for five. <clears throat> then they shoot our snake and attack Elspeth for four, but that's... <clears throat> the problem is if we jump 
are Ophiomancer. Then on their turn, they can pump this, shoot the snake, attack Elspeth, or they can... I guess this is actually fine. Yep, I have a feeling this was coming down. So now they have two. They're probably going to shoot this, which means they lose walking. Oh, no, they're just going to attack with the walking ballista. That's interesting. That's a good play. So literally everybody at, at Elspeth, huh? Okie dokie. And of course they have a one drop to make sure I can't kill Gideon this turn. Land. Land. We can Euro here. Hmm. Is that good? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can keep up stirring Wild as well. <clears throat> Uh, not like that. And not like that. Okay. We actually can't do that. Yeah, we don't have enough green, unfortunately. Or enough white. They're connected. One, two... I mean, we don't have enough blue to play Jace and the other one. I guess we're just gonna... <clears throat> Let's just do it anyway. One, two, three, four, five. We could hit something too, so. <laughs> Does that do anything? It would have let us attack with Raging Ravine. It lets us play Jace. doesn't let jace doesn't do anything for us unfortunately it dies to colonnade does mean they have to attack with colonnade though sure i mean we can bounce like one of the blockers and attack gideon but that doesn't do anything i'm just gonna draw three put two back um. So put this first, you. and click on each. Put Garrick on top of that. Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub to old McBody Bot. Doubt you're gonna want to trade. Merry Christmas, MTG bot. <laughs> oh, good times. I feel like this game is already quite grindy. I'm hoping in their two cards they don't have an answer to Euro. I mean, the nice thing is I'm thinking they're going to have to tap out if they want to attack Jason kill it. Oh, that's interesting. Because that means they can attack with Celestial Colonnade. Okie dokie. Fucking goddammit. 
must be, as they say. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's worth more to keep Jace on board than Ophiomancer. It's really infuriating. <laughs> of course, you draw the exact card you needed the literal turn after I get your O down. Okay, sounds good. So long, Ophiomancer. Hmm. Hmm. Let's put these back. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. We can't actually play anything else. We just have to use the two things at our disposal. Yeah, if it was like a Banishing Lighter and a Blivdering, we could Rex Sage it. But it wasn't. It was Council of Judgment, so. Honestly, I think we actually wreck sage this and then attack with a raging green. I guess they just block with the wall of omens, right? That seems less than ideal. And it sucks because we know we're drawing the next two cards because of Jace. One, two, three, activate. One, two, three, four, activate. And then we have one land left. <clears throat> if we attack with the ravine, I bet they block and then shoot the snake. Hmm. A lot of options here. If this is arena, I can't even imagine having to make these decisions. <laughs> like the rope would be taken down four minutes ago. Uh, one, two, three. Rex Sage. Just getting this guy off the board is worth it. The problem is if we play Garrick and fight their stupid Thraben Inspector, then they just kill off both of our Planeswalkers and we have nothing coming down, so. I mean, Jace is still dead, but at least we get to keep Garrick here. Maybe. I mean, assuming they don't have one removal spell for this wolf. Lord, give me fucking strength. Cool. <laughs> yep. Sweet. Nicely done. Uh, Council's Judgment into Eleshnorn. <laughs> believe in you. I don't, I don't know if I believe in me. That's unfortunate. I am dead inside.
Uh, I believe we've seen a Leshnorn just hard cast against us numerous times. I don't know. Maybe it's like when you hit submit or join and it, for some reason it like adds like a 30 second delay because I feel like even our opponents are taking a ton more time to sideboard as well. Second land here would be uh, would be great, but we don't have that, so uh, this hand looks pretty good. We'll keep this. We got one, two, one, two, three. I think we're just shipping. Maybe not Arid Mesa. Maybe Hollowed Fountain. Arid Mesa gets us bad lands. Yeah, I definitely think if we were able to get Jace and Garrick on the board, um, and Euro, I mean, if they don't just draw exact perfect removal spell for a an escape creature followed by a uh, a Leshnorn that kills both of our tokens, I think we're just fine. But I felt like I gained your powers the other day. I draw my mana sources, Mox Signet lands, and I call my opponent's first two plays in the game. Path on my turn one, Rafelos into Baby Jace. I thought only you have the power to make it a simulation. I think once I stream enough that the simulation powers um tend to tend to spread out you know what i mean actually let's play signet here so we do need one more land if we want to play questing beast also elashnorn seems like a super weird play in this deck oh we're so lucky If we hit one more land, I'm going to be really happy because then we don't have to waste the turn doing just Signet. I don't know. I've been watching for a while and I still never have any idea what my opponents are going to do. Well, you know what they say. Live by the sword. Die by the cord. I think I was channeling my inner Mike B there. Oh, good. A Caracas. We have Questing Beast. A Caracas. First legendary creature we've played other than Euro, who has an Enters the Battlefield ability. Caracas. Okay. Sounds good. That's literally what I do. I think of the worst case scenario. I'm like, what could they possibly have that wrecks whatever we're doing right now? Maybe they don't know this is legendary. Oh, they knew. Okay. I uh, don't want to do it like that. Also, do not want to get a Leshnorn here for obvious reasons. Oh, I kind of like Fallen Shinobi here. Sure, I'm a Fallen Shinobi. Should have taken a better look at the deck, but... I mean, like... They do have Cloudscape coming down next turn, but if we get a hit in with this guy, it's pretty good. It's actually terrible. I think we've just doomed ourselves. Oh, now they're gonna they're gonna counsel his judgment. Actually, this is this is fine. That's not the worst that could have happened there. Because if they realized they could have actually bounced it with Riftwing and then literally played it the same turn. So I actually feel like we got kind of lucky there. <laughs> but <sighs> K 
Caracas has been a real pain right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have one, two, three, four, five green. If we can hit one more green, we can make two tokens a turn. You're bouncing the actual token? The actual card? And not the token. Okay. Well, they have five cards, we have two. So I don't think this is going tremendous. Like, they're just adding. So they have to use all their mana, otherwise, there's no point in tapping Grim Monolith. Unless they're just keeping Caracas up forever in fear of questing beast, which is kind of comical if that's the case. Uh, okay. I don't know what's going on here. Five mana. Yorion. Okay, this, this is actually fantastic for them. Blink, Cloudskate, your three signets, and your Grim Monolith. Sure. Yep, that's good. Bounce the ooze. How nice. All right, well, they have four cards. Wish I could draw Ancestral Recall nearly as much as they draw Leshnorn. Renin 6. Well, I got an Arid Mesa. I guess that's something. And we're dead in the air. Sounds good. Cool. Really, really bent over backwards to keep that fucking Caracas up untapped. That's, that's good. Man, Council's Judgment of Leshnorn every single game. We have an Ancestral Recall on our deck. I don't know if you guys knew that. We also have Lotus Cobra for turn two. We have a niv and a Mind Twist. We have lots of good cards. I don't think they're in our deck, but we have them somewhere. I think they're in a vault somewhere. A safety deposit box, maybe. Oh, look, this old chestnut. All right, so we're going to go Ophiomancer. Next turn we can kill this guy with Garrick, which is nice. Which means we probably won't be able to kill this guy with Garrick. Because they'll just... I know you are talking about dying your beard hair recently. I watched an old Modern Monday with you playing Black Widow Draws. You were definitely right about it being darker, but just wanted to say I think you're looking awesome now and doing awesome stuff. Zerson, thank you so much for saying so. I appreciate that. Definitely makes me... uh feel a little more feel a little more confident you know it's good to hear thank you man that means a lot okay so we can definitely kill this guy with garrick now are they missing a land drop too oh boy Whew. look guys this is where garrick really pays off kill your discount gentlemen 
Are they conceding here? No. We're not going to attack. I don't want to have to block with Ophiomancer to lose Garrick. That ain't worth it. Also, my hair is super unruly right now. Mana Vault. That's a spicy meatball. I'm glad we got Fraley's here. Oh, man. We're going to get to Fraley's, the Mana Vault, before they get to use it. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I dye my beer white. I'm like, I look, I look too young. Make it younger. Look at all the things of theirs we're killing. Give me a wolf. All my, look at all my death touch one ones. Still no need to attack here. Next up, we can go signet into questing beast. If we draw a, another red or black source that is not connected. <laughs> Gosh. Why don't instead of dyeing my, my, my hair blue and white, why don't I blink it out of existence? So excited to play 17 lands and be screwed every single game when I play. Buddy, you're preaching to the choir right now, my dude. I'm just going to submit like this. I think scavenging news could be decent, but I have no reason to really run into that gentleman. Um, So I think this hand is fine. I think it needs something. Like a black source. A signet would be great. A mind twist, which is a black card. I think they heard black card. I said black source. So it's close. Okay, another black card. Okay, we're just I think we're just missing the we're just missing the point here, I think. Black source would be great. Let's us do our things. Okay. All right. No, no plays here. Okay. Another black card. I understand. I think. I think we've we've had a glitch. Four black cards and three black cards in a row. Okay. Well, really, we're just running that guy out there, huh? Fabulous. Okay. Young young peasy. Pernicious deed looking decent. Until they... <laughs> was this good game us? Oh, that was from last game, I guess? Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> That's rude. Okay, there's a lot of things happening here. Why are th why are these the elemental tokens? These are definitely not the elementals a young pyromancer makes. This actually is pretty interesting here. <laughs> Still no black source, one extra land. Oh boy. I guess we can cast Council of Judgment. I feel like this is going well for us. I guarantee they don't complain when they win on turn four. That's my guarantee to you guys. I guess it's technically their turn five because they took two turns in a row. Let me guess, you go get time walk. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We take eleven next turn and six this turn. It's exactly. That's hilarious. Ready? Time walk again. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, oh man, good times. Yep, take six here and then eleven next turn. Sounds good. That was fun. That was a fun game. I enjoyed that one. Let's bring this guy in. Take out like Niv Mizzet.
you know what? Sure. Any land here is good. A white land is good. Uh, red land is good. Purple land. 12 land. 42B land and orange land. Steak land. Chicken land. Fish land. Cheese land. Lightsabers. You name it, man. It's all good. No land whatsoever. Also good. Still have yet to see Ancestral Recall once. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Well, speak of the devil, you stupid dummy. I just want to hit a land drop. Land, land. No, I didn't even have Mox Diamond in the deck, so. Go up to nine, play land. We got to discard something. Okie dokie. Are they dazing? They can't daze it. Are they force of negation or slash force of willingness? That's pretty sad. Jellyfish, Hydra Beast. I don't know. I just want to resolve my Ancestral Recall. Okay. Okay. Now we're making music. Um, I think we're just going to regress this here. Well... Would have loved to play a three drop, of which I have three on turn three, but instead, Ancestral Recall was the key. Blue, red, black deck. And we're just stealing the Mana Vault. They're going to tap it, but that's fine. We'll take one extra point a turn. If it means they no longer have access to a mana vault. Sure. Sounds good. No. They don't want to do that. They do want to do that? They don't want to do that. Okay. I don't know what's happening right now. They can't brazen borrow their own mana vault. Doesn't work. Which I feel like is what they're trying to do here. They can wait till we have it and brazen borrow it. This does not feel as complicated as it should be. What is happening right now? <laughs> Three weeks later. Okay. Good times. Bounce it. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes you just want to sacrifice deck to destroy their artifact. Something's just an artifact destruction spell. Yep. Wow, look, the exact thing I said you were going to do. Who saw that coming? That should not have taken seven minutes, but what can you do? I like the part where they tapped the mana vault. Me too, buddy. Me too. Alright, so we definitely want a second blue source. So we're probably getting Hollowed Fountain. Yeah, that's... You got it. Let's 
Fraley's is decent. We don't have double green, though. I wonder if this will resolve slash do anything. Oh. No. All right. Well, Renin 6 is actually pretty decent. We can get Arid Mesa back, which gets us a Savannah, which does get us a second green source. We can also play Kitchen Finks or Duretti next turn, which is super nice. Them not having second blue is pretty decent. Oh, they're coming for Michael. They didn't do anything. Okay. Interesting. All right, so this is our only red and green. Nice. Very nice. I think we're just going to bribery them. I don't think they have a counter spell in their hand. Are you playing his draft again? Very likely. Looking good. Palancron. Oh my lord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Heavy breathing. Oh wow, that was that was a spicy meatball. I think we want to frailies and take out their mana vault. Before I slept, you were playing. I woke up and you're still playing. Not still, to be fair. I did take a break. But then I came back because I missed you all so much. Alright. Well, we're going to pass here. Hmm. Alright, random Manamorphose. Oh, they're just going to play Brazen Barrer. Okay. Seems fine. We have Palancron to block. If they have a way to bounce Palancron, then that's pretty good. But we have Ren and Six as well, so we can shoot it. There's a lot of things that can happen here. Oh, they did nothing. Euro. Euro. I mean, I'm definitely just going to kill this guy. I don't need an Arid Mesa back from my graveyard that much. Make an elf. Make a land. He said make a land. He didn't make that land. Uh, black, red, blue. Daretti comes for you. Make a, make a dude. And we'll play Ooze, because I don't think they're going to wipe the board. And if they do, we still have three Planeswalkers, and a Kitchen Finks, and a Euro. So I'm not super concerned with it. The superest of friends. All right. T 
<laughs> See, I feel like we're in good shape here, but. Oh boy, what is happening? This is wild. All right, well. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is ten. Sure. Create an elf. Uh, let's play Euro, I guess. Uh, put a land. Yeah, we'll play this one for because if there's two lands on top, we just get a bunch. Nah. Yeah. Um. So what do we got? One, two, three. Okay, so we can actually use our white sources for kitchen finks. Definitely gonna kill this guy. You may sack this guy to destroy your friend. Destroy your friend. And we can still make an ooze. One, two, three, and a green. Okay. I feel like we're in good shape here. <laughs> Heart of the cards. Oh no. Forest. I don't think that's it. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, if they went writ, writ, seething song. Yogmoth's will. Shut up and take my money. Rit, rit, seething song. Draft sneak attack through the breach, Eureka. Any two or all three. Okay, I'm going to put it in there, but it's harder to do these because I have to actually get those cards. Any two. Like, I have to get two of them. <laughs> Alright, I'm putting it in the queue. Good lord. You guys are so specific. Okay, hold on. Highlight that one because we're doing it. Unforgiven 2258. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, let's finish this one up. We all live in the specific ocean. <laughs> what a strange man that Super Fritz is. <clears throat> oh, Super Fritz actually got me a sweet. A sweet card for my cube for Christmas. I'll show you guys. Oh, God. I just dropped my lightsaber and I'm really sad about it. I'll get over it, but it's it's emotionally affecting me for a few seconds. All right, I think I'm over it. Oh, you guys aren't even going to be able to see it, though, because of the green screen, I bet. It is a sweet beta channel for the cube. It is a spicy meatball. It's very hard to see, but it's it's pretty awesome. It looks great in here. It's so dark and crisp. Unforgiven, I do still have the um 
I do still have that in here, actually. Katie, Mike, and Frank draft alternating picks with a twist. Each one of you gets one veto against each other. I want to see if I can try and do that this weekend when we're all home and free. <clears throat> all right. For those on YouTube, we pause the the video so we could you know what i'm gonna keep this hand it has every freaking color we could ever want we're on the play it's gorgeous uh let's start with hollowed fountain also for the second time in my life i've been the victim of fraud i lost about thirty thousand. Thirty thousand dollars Well, Liber of Alexandria is a hell of a card. Is that real? How is that possible, man? Oof. Land tax? What? What? I mean, I'll be honest, as someone who does not have 30k just sitting around, that is fairly foreign to me. But I definitely hope you can recover that. Um, so they get to draw three and library. They're going to... So how many cards? Like, whatever. Who cares? Who? Oh my god, who cares? I'm not going to counsel's judgment a stupid land tax. Like... So it's just a blue-white deck. Okay. Oh, my God. Such an aggressive good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. So you discarded Island, Plains, Plains, Island. Okay. So basically all the cards you just searched for. Got it. This is a very strange match so far. <laughs> sure. Keep on searching. You will enjoy this match. You will have good luck. And you will have fun. Did they get three more? Good lord, man. Savannah or Volcanic Island? Probably Savannah. Island Island, Plains, Plains. What are you getting rid of this time? You have 20 cards left in your deck. I assume they have to play something eventually, right? Okay, this time they got rid of Plains. Plains. I think they played an island and balance and memory jar memento mori jar one two three four let's oracle here they're gonna get so many more lands out of their deck oh yeah library before you counter this guy oh here it comes oh yeah you remanded it right to my hand are they gonna do something? They're gonna, they gotta do something, right? Eventually, like spells or something, maybe. You can get three more. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seventy-nine. Tell this is thirteen of their lands. One, two, three, four, six. Six of them are in the graveyard. Are they gonna bribery us? And then we're gonna bribery back, and then it's just gonna be a bribery fest. This is all very confusing. Did they play a land? They played a Plains. Recruiter of the Guard. Sure. For Soulfire Grandmaster. So I have to assume they have Time Walk in hand. And that's their big game. So 
So they still have to discard four cards a turn. This is pretty wild. They have 13 cards left in their deck. Come on, Mind Twist. What do they get rid of here? Island, Island. All right. They're ready. You do not. You do not do. Well, we can play around days. Can't play around like Mana Leak, I guess. Muldrifter, Consecrated Sphinx. Well, Time Walk is still in the deck, so that's good. I am going to take a snip of this, too. Save this one. This is our deck. Deck. And then we'll new snip this. Um, move it over here. Shrink it down. And this was the whole deck, as far as we know, except for, like, seven cards. Okay. Yep, going to get Consecrated Sphinx here. So time walk is in the deck. They have to draw it in the next. Like it, I have to. I have to have shifted it to the top. <sighs> Fucking amazing brazen barber. Oh, crying out loud, dude. Well, I guess if they have to play this, it's fine. Wow, brazen barber. Yep, you're welcome. One, two, three, four. So we can go one, two, three. One, two, three, and then still play this guy. We might actually want Duretti on board. One, two, three, four, five, six. Duretti kills their stupid... So we're going to go white, white, blue, name Consecrated Sphinx. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Black, red, white. Great gentleman. Yep, they have seven lands. We know Time Walk is in their deck, right? So, like, if they just wait till they have eight and then they play Soulfire Grandmaster plus Time Walk, it's pretty rough. Sure. If we block with Construct, we can't actually kill the Soulfire Grandmaster this turn. We have to wait till next turn. <laughs> yep, now they play Soulfire. Yep. And now they just... I'm sure they have it. I'm sure they've drawn both of them, of course. Yep. Good times. Ready? Are you ready? Do you know a Colette Lepore? No, I do not. I don't know many Lepores. Outside of my immediate family. Impulse. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Now you have six, so I'm sure you'll find it. <laughs> and, yep, cool. I mean, they do have six cards in their library, so they have to win in six turns. They're just killing Duretti here? Sure, I'll block this guy, and now Duretti still lives. Like, we never get a turn again, so... 
I mean, if they play Brazen Barrow, it's very good. Like, it's 5, 10, 15. It's 4. Like, they're just going to have exactly enough turns. Oh, but they're not if they keep time walking, right? So. That's interesting. And they're still attacking Duretti, which is very interesting. I think they're still going to have enough turns, but I think it's going to be close. They might have also not... They might just not have one extra mana for it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is all 17 lands. They actually don't have one extra land to play Brazen Borrower and cast this for 6. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Time walk. Time twister. <laughs> okay. Sure. I guess that's a that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> oh, of course time twister is one of the cards in their hand, so that's nice. Balance, sure. So we get a turn? Not yet. All right. What are the odds they drew time walk in their seven cards? Man, that was hilarious. If they didn't have exactly time twister in their deck, then... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Of course they draw it. <laughs> Oh, man. So nice. So nice. Oh, God. It's just a fucking comedy of errors, man. Absolutely incredible. Have to have Time Twister. Have to redraw Time Walk. Okay. You got it. You cannot change those things that were meant to be, my friends. Yep, Mulligan. Okay. Uh, ship land. <laughs> Literally no white sources. Council's judgment. Sounds good. <sighs> Five colors is rough, even when your deck is has an uh, insanely good mana base, so... How's the night going? Been better. Been better. I mean, as far as life, great. As far as these matches, you know, time twister, you got it. Let's kill Narset. I mean, I don't want to say it's lucky, right? Like, there are definitely situations in Magic where you can, like, sculpt the things that happen. You can increase your chances. To... <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> you can sculpt your chances to do specific things, right? But, I mean, it's just fucking hilarious that every play by my opponent is so timely. Niv Mizzen next turn seems pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, and we also just attacked... Yeah, we also just attacked Narset instead of the player because I'm just actually totally tilted and uh, my head's not really in it. We also, like, saw most of their deck. And... Fractured Identity just happened to be one of the few cards that was just sitting in their hand all game, I guess. So, you know, that's a thing, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Um, I will put this into play untapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I kind of just guess we play Niv Mizzet here. So it's only red source, only black source, green, blue, white, Niverino. 
one Duretti. Seems good. <sighs> yeah, we're definitely trading here. I mean, we just got the Nug Memory Jar here. Now we don't because it's not a May ability. Well, I don't have a Mountain in our deck. So I just got a second swan. Oh, wait. Yes, the bug is still there. Where when you search your library and something is really a top card, the top card stays the same. This was literally a 1 in 26 chance. So, you know, kind of low. Yep, that's a real thing. Wow. They did that trying to get rid of Rex Sage. That was their goal. So if we get to just one play Rex Sage now, it's pretty good. Oh boy. Oh, they're just going to do that anyway. Okay. They're like, well, they're going to time walk here because they always hit the time walk. Yeah, obviously. Never fails. It's like I say, like my opponent actually doesn't have to play the game. They just have to exist so I can call their plays and then have them happen. Consecrated Sphinx. Yep, sounds good. Doesn't really sound good, but, you know, what can you do? Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not going to have anything that could cost nine unless we happen to draw red off the top, which I don't think we're going to. I'm also not going to. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to go one, two, three. Council's judgment this guy. One, two, three, four. And we're just going to play Biogenic Ooze here because that just seems better than Ophiomancer. Really kind of depressing to see Hydroid Crassus, Mind Twist, and Dak Faden and Jace hit the bin, but that's life. They have six cards, we have two cards. They also have Day of Judgment in their deck, so I assume it's in their hand. And there it is. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. So... Just literally playing off the cards that uh, we know they have. So, one, two for Ooze. One, two, three. This is like solitaire, except you always lose. Yeah, it does feel that way, doesn't it? All right, so let's get rid of time walk. So you can't do that bullshit. Let's get rid of day of judgment. So you can't do that bullshit. Fractured identity. So you can't do that bullshit. And treachery, so you can't do that bullshit. Um, yeah, that's fine. You got it. He come back. I'm just gonna eat your whole great. Like we know we have time twister, so if I get most of the threats out of the way, like it's fine with me. 
So now the time walk is gone. Ball Drifter, that's a solid gentleman. Those have nine cards in their deck? That's not a lot at all. Can this get a Badlands? No. Can this get any red at all? No. Taiga? Taiga and Badlands are both in the graveyard. <laughs> it's fantastic. You can't make this shit up. I don't know what I can get. I don't know if I can get anything with this, to be honest with you. Yep, cool. Just a literal blank. Seems good. Scavenging ooze. I'm not going to attack with Stirring Wildwood here because I'd rather keep it up in case they don't realize blocks. Literal Taiga Badlands gone. So sad. I mean, we have one card, they have six, though, so, like, a Time Twister definitely benefits us significantly more than them. So, we're going to go white, green, and blue. Activate this gentleman. Eat this little idiot. And now I assume they're going to Day of Judgment, because they have both. Oust the snake. Alright, I'm not sure I understand that. Balance. So you're going to discard three cards? Why would you oust the snake? Oh, because you're discarding cards anyway? But you gave me life. Isn't it just better to discard that? Let's get rid of Brain Freeze. I don't want you to combo us out. Let's get rid of Narset. And we'll get rid of Mull Drifter. Choose eight lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have to get rid of this guy anyway, right? Done. They lose three cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. They got rid of Time Twister. Okay. I'm really confused right now. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, but the time walk has been exiled. They have time warp. That's pretty good. That's not going to do it. Okay, so they're probably just going to kill us with time warp. Plus brazen borrower, plus soulfire grandmaster. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, they have exactly enough mana to do it. This is amazing. <sighs> yep. Try as we may. Yeah, Mirari Conjecture. Sure. What is this? Impulse? Remand. Yep, sure. <laughs> Fucking come on. Are you serious? Come on, dude. Fucking stupid Duretti stuck in our hand when Taiga and Badlands are literally sitting in the graveyard and we just verdant catacombs for nothing. Magic is a game of skill. It's literally just going to go Soulfire Grandmaster, take another turn with Time Warp, put the Time Warp back in their hand. Next turn, Mirari Conjecture goes off. They're going to play double Time Warps. We're also going to three this turn, so. But they didn't do that. <laughs> Kitchen Finks. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Just to be sure, we didn't exile a time warp, did we? Nope. 
I got plenty of good things for Christmas, actually. This is a great Christmas. Significantly better than this particular match that is happening right now. You gonna remand it? Oh, yeah, remand it. Oh, you're gonna soul fire. Remand it. Got it. One, two. Yeah, oh, yeah, do that. Uh, one, two, three. Why don't you just use the mana that's in the pool? I can remand it again. They did not remand it again. All right. All I have to do is literally attack with Brazen Bar, Time Warp, attack with Brazen Bar. It's really super uncomplicated. Which is sad because they have three cards in their library. So, like, we tried as hard as we could, but it's just not. Uh, okay. So I go to eight. Four, five, six. Can we Ancestral Recall and just kill them? <laughs> no, we can just die because Fraylis does nothing. Hokie dokie. Thank you guys for watching. Jojo MK, really appreciate the stip, even though it did not go according to plan. Um, thank you so much for the support. As always, you are awesome and wonderful and generous, and I appreciate it so much. And uh, if you guys want to do your own stipulations or want to support the channel, you can definitely uh, subscribe or donate at twitch.tv slash franklapore. As you know, I'm a content creator. This is my primary full-time job, and I'm streaming five days a week at the very least. And uh, every little bit helps. So thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.